Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have a 156 inch side door sleeper here that I want to show you. Again, I've got a colored truck. You know, it's not a white one. It's something for you folks that want some other unique color. It's called Satin Gold uh, Pearl, and it's a beautiful color. Hey, I like the aerodynamics of the Volvo truck. Nobody can match the aerodynamics, the smoothness of the, uh, the curvatures of it, and how it can cut through the air. It uh, allows the air to become <clears throat> attached. It doesn't get in swirled. It makes a very small transition from the cab down to the sleeper. Because of the nice wide cab of the Volvo, it makes it more aerodynamic on the sleeper. It also makes the sleeper look like it belongs on this truck. Hey, we got the Onan 7500 watt generator. We got 150 gallon fuel tanks. We got Michelin. Uh, XDN2 tires, we have Durabrite wheels, we have a no grease fifth wheel, we have air release fifth wheel in addition to air slide. We've got it all here folks. The whole truck looks really nice. If we come around to it, you can see the over here on the passenger side. Again, I'll mention it's got Michelin tires on it, another 150 gallon fuel tank. We got an extra storage space for you so you can carry more of your belongings. Look at here, this step comes out to meet you and makes it comfortable for anybody to get in and out of the truck. And I'm going to approach on up. We're going to go up into the cab. We're going to... That's interesting. I'm uh, looking for the for the switch. Uh, oh, here it is. There we go. I uh, always have to learn something new. Um, folks, the, the seats that I have on this Volvo, people are loving them. They allow the cushion to be tilted. They allow the cushion to be slid in and out. So however long a legs you have, you can adjust of course you can adjust the back hey you notice that they're also cutting out more of the back of the truck so that the, if you like you can move the seat back further than what we were able to in the past i got the position perfect steering wheel that not only allows me to adjust the column but also allows me to adjust the steering head uh, I got the full gauge package. I got controls on the steering wheel. Uh, I got all of my cruise control and the engine brake controls here. I got all the dash controls right here. Uh, well, I tell you, I've got, I got a lot of nice features. You look here, we also got electronic temperature control. So no longer do you have to keep moving the temperature up and down and as temperatures change during the day. You just set it at a temperature, you set the fan on auto, and it'll maintain the temperature for you. Mentioned earlier, we have an air release uh, fifth wheel, so you don't have to get in there and, and jerk on the, on the handle to release your, uh, the fifth wheel. This one, we've got the ice shift controls here on the dash, so it makes a little more room around the seat. With, not have, with having the controls up here on the dash. Uh, I've got the generator controls here on the dash. So I can start and stop the generator as we're going down the road. And as we move on across, I'll show you one other feature. That unit there on the windshield is a rain sensor. I'm putting it on some of my trucks. I have it on all of them. This one has it. Works great. And uh, you turn it on and whenever the windshield uh, when it senses that there's moisture on it it will wipe the windshield clean and then uh, it'll come back and and shut off automatically when there's no moisture there so it's a nice feature people seem to like it a lot and uh, it's relatively new to Volvo so I don't know if there's anything else you'd like to see I mean we got great lights or LEDs up here we can turn on the <coughs> for you or you got the map lights then you can get different colors either blue or red depending on the particular situation so 
Uh, it's a very, very comfortable uh, truck in order to drive with it. Hey, I'm going to mention when we're talking about driving, one of the things that I'm putting on all of my trucks now is a is a stability is a, um, a stability bar that allows it to stay much more stable. In order for the truck to bend one way or the other, it actually has to twist this bar, and it keeps the truck extremely stable. So it's a great, great feature. Okay, let's go on back here into the sleeper, and we'll show the uh, folks what we have here. Of course, we got this shower and toilet that uh, we've been doing in all the big bunks. So you got that. And then you come on over, and oh, you're seeing now that big 42-inch flat screen TV. Isn't that great? And it's got a Sony sound bar also. So, uh, you know, the sound that you get in here is really first class, right? Hey, let's go ahead and we'll show you the refrigerator. We got the, uh, the Danby household refrigerator. Excuse me for walking in front there. But it uh, gives you extra space. But in addition to that, it's a 110-volt refrigerator. So it's household it's much less expensive than the types that we were using in the past, and more importantly, it's very, um, it's uh, <clears throat> very reliable. I want you to look and see the wood that I have in here. It's stone saddle. It's nice brown tent wood. It's a flat panel design. It's like people are using it in their homes now. So that's what we're putting in the trucks. Oh, look at here. We got three deep drawers so you can put uh, any of your items in it that you may want to put in there. It gives you a lot of storage for it. Hey, right below these drawers, you're going to see the outlets, inlet and outlet for the Wabasco diesel powered heater. So now I don't have to run the generator with some kind of an electrical device. I got gas or diesel fuel powered takes very little, like one gallon every 12 hours, they tell me. And what's nice about that is that's 12 hours I don't have to put on my generator. So that's just that much longer between servicing the generator. It's got to be less expensive, and it's also got to uh, be more reliable for the long haul. Okay, we got, a, we got the gotcha table. Got a nice 48 inch, 44 inch, I believe, uh, bed here. So nice, comfortable bed. Got room for a person or two to sit here and either have an enjoyable meal or you could play cards or whatever that uh, uh, meets the occasion. So it's a uh, Nice. I like the color of the of the uh, solid surface countertop here. It blends nice with the with the uh, stone saddle wood. So I like that. The upholstery on the walls is uh, I think they call it oyster bay or light tan, kind of an off white, and it makes it bright and cheery and roomy in here. Hey, in addition to it, we've got the counter that's got a nice big deep sink so you got plenty of room to do dishes and if you happen to have water in it or something going down the road it's not going to swish out so people like the deep sinks a lot now here's another feature here's another feature is the induction stove so the nice thing about the induction stove is the stove itself does not get hot the skillet that you put on it gets hot a little heat will transfer back down onto it but it cools down really quick afterwards and we've had some cases where people have accidentally left the old hot burners on and placed either the lid on them like here or they have placed some type of flammable material on top of it and bang we've got a we've got a uh, fire so 
this is a nice way to keep from having that happen. Additional shelves to store canned goods or whatever other items that you would like to store. Have other drawers here for items and spices and other cooking uh, items. Hey, I'm going to show you in a second something that I'm putting on my truck that I think is really nice. In the past, we had individual lights that were mounted up into each one of these cabinets and the cap would come off of it and then and if you had to replace those little halogen hot, uh, lights they were really hot. Well now I put a single switch right there. It's a lit switch so you'll know that if you have left it on and we light all of these up at the same time got rid of all those individual uh, lights and we put in one rope light really a nice feature hey this is a nice uh nice arrangement i like it a lot it's really warm uh bright and uh anna's telling me i need to tell you about one other thing what is it the, the what the panels, the oh yes thanks anna <laughs> the uh uh you know we got the panel here for or the um controls for your rooftop fan the thermostat uh, controlling the rooftop air conditioning. It's a 15,000 BTU air conditioning unit. It also has a heating strip in it. You probably won't use it. You'll use the Wabasco heater instead. We got the uh, we got the inverter, 2800 watt inverter, folks. We got a 2800 watt inverter, and that's how we can have all of our plug-ins always hot. That's how we can have a 110 volt. Um, refrigerator without having to run the generator is because of the big inverter that I've been putting in for several years. And then the last thing that I like to put in is the uh, the um, water level gauge. And where that's really nice is that you don't have to any longer get down on your knees to see how much water there is in the tank. You can just merely push the button and it says here it's empty which is correct. Now, another thing is if you were to add a second water tank, we would probably install it right here. Well, part of the expense of installing a second water tank is running the wire from the tank over to that control panel, right? And so I tell ARI, let's be prepared for it. Let's go ahead and put the wiring harness in place. It's wound up down underneath uh, the uh, bench here so that you can put in a second water tank and save yourself a substantial amount of money versus if you had to do it uh, from scratch. Uh, folks, it's a nice truck. It's 156 inch. I like the 156 inch or bigger side doors. Um, if you have any more questions about it, you can certainly call me, Rex Rash, Gator Truck Center, Des Moines, Iowa. My phone number is 515-645-7953. Again, Rex Rash, 515-645-7953. Thank you.